Hi right, guys and welcome to 123 My T's video where I'm going to talk about mining pools. Okay guys, so in my channel I've showed you uh, how to build your mining rigs and I've also started doing these little videos in between the mining rig ones uh, basically as a step by a beginner's step by step guide uh, to cryptocurrency. So, you know, what coin to mine was the first one. Next one was cryptocurrency wallets and exchanges, where I'll show you, we'll talk about wallets and how to set them up. And so go back and have a look at those. This video today, though, we'll be talking about, um, we'll be talking about mining and mining pools. So what is a mining pool? So if we have a bit of a read here, basically says a mining pool is the pooling of resources by miners who share their processing power over a network to split the reward equally according to the amount of work they contributed uh, to the probability of finding a block so essentially if you're a smaller miner let's say you know you've got you know one one mining rig um, you could try mining by yourself but because of the difficulty of the block you, you might find that you don't get much reward so what happens is a bunch of miners will all jump in together with their smaller rigs and they will form a mining pool and then you'll get a percentage or a kickback or a percentage of the reward from from doing that mining work so what mining pool do I use well if you guys go over to crypto compare and go to the uh, heading up the top the mining heading and then go down to mining pools and then on the mining pools uh, page here you'll see a whole bunch of mining uh, pools that you can actually join. So, you know, there's a whole heap of them. What you were looking for here is you want to look for the coin that you want to use. So we already went through uh, what coins to mine uh, in my other video. So you should have an idea of what coins you want to mine. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to mine Ethereum because it's a pretty popular one. So um, you can go through here and you can look at any of these pools and you can see, okay, this one supports Ethereum. Uh, this Ether mine supports Ethereum. Nano pool supports Ethereum. So you can actually use your computing power to join these pools and mine with any of these pools. And there's a whole bunch of them. Like there's, there's literally, you know, you know, probably hundreds of them. The ones that I use, I've used... I currently use uh, Nanopool. I find it's a, a pretty good one. Um, there's another one down here, Coin Mine, which I also use. This one here. You can go and choose which pool you want to use. The other thing that you might want to take into account is server locations. So if you look here, you know, this uh, Nanopool, for example, has server locations in Asia, Europe, and USA. So you want to try and be as close to possible as you can wherever the server is. So for example, let's say for example you lived in Australia, you would want a, a server that's uh, um, in Australia, or uh, you know your next option might be a server that's in the USA or a server that's in Asia. Europe, you wouldn't want a, a server in Europe if you lived in Australia because it would be too far. So for most people uh, watching the video, I guess you'll probably be from the USA, so um, you know, most of these uh, locations will have a USA server, so it's not really a drama. Okay, so if we look over here as well, you've got this PPLNS, and then down below this on Slush Pool, you've got PPS and Solo. So Solo is obviously when you're mining, it's a payment system and how you get paid. So if you're Solo, you'll get paid as a Solo uh, miner. Then there's these other ones here as well. So what do these actually mean? Let's go and have a look. So PPLNS, pay per last N shares, similar to proportional, but instead of looking at the number of the shares in the, in the round, instead it looks at the last N shares regardless of round boundaries. Okay, And then the next one was PPS, which is this one here, and it says pay per share, each submitted share is worth a certain amount of BC, since finding a block requires current difficulty shares on average a PPS method with a 0% fee would be 12.5 BTC divided by current difficulty uh, it's risky for pool operators hence the highest the fee is the highest okay so which is better uh, I don't actually know which is better out of these um, there's arguments for both uh, I'll let you do your own research on those and you can make up your own mind 
Uh, the other thing that we should take into account is obviously on this page here you've got the star rating of the pool um, and also you've got your, your fees. So how much fees do you pay? Now I'm not sure that these fees are actually accurate so just make sure when you go to start mining you check out the fees on the actual on the website because these can change um, and I'm sure it says you know this is average fee which just means it's the average of all of the pools that it's got there. So some pools might be more expensive, some pools might be less expensive. If we jump into Nano Pool here, you can see that they've got uh, some more servers and things down here as well, some lists of servers. This isn't actually up to date because they do actually have some Australian servers for some of these uh, coins as well. So, so just bear that in mind when you're going through this page. It, uh, you know, the information might not totally be up to date. Um, then you've got the pool website, so let's go across to the website once you've selected a pool that you want to use. Once you've selected what pool you want to use, in this case I'm going to use NanoPool, head over to the website and then on NanoPool you'll see there's got this welcome page and you've got this quick start part here. So we're going to try and mine Ethereum. So let's hit quick start. It says here how to connect so you can download the Claymore Dual Miner, which I've already done, and that's on the desktop here and I've extracted it to the desktop so it downloads in a zip file and then you can just extract it to your desktop and then it says uh, generate your config so I've gone ahead and I've put in Windows to generate the config Nvidia because Nvidia will be our card but you can select AMD or you could select Linux as your OS as well Kraken so I'm going to make this config for the Kraken put in your email address main server I'm going to put in uh, US uh, West for some reason Australia is available but it doesn't add in the config for that yet so they've got to sort that out. Uh, first algorithm okay it's going to be Ethereum and uh, then we would put in our address here. So where do you get your wallet address from? Well in the previous video guys I showed you how to use a program called Exodus you can use that and if we go into our wallet into Ethereum click on receive then we could just copy this address here. All right, then just double check it, make sure it's you copied everything across and then there's no spaces or anything in between it. Now you can do a second coin. If you wanted to uh, mine Sia coin or you wanted to mine Pascal coin, then you can actually change those as well. But for now, for this uh, video, we're just gonna go none. Then we're gonna go generate. I'm gonna save it, save it to our desktop. Now I've already done one config, I'm just gonna save over the top of it. All right. And we've got our Claymore config here, and we've got our Claymore folder. So inside the Claymore folder is all the uh, files for the mining. You can see there's the ETH miner um, file just there, application. All right, and you can see here we've got our start.bat file. So in the config claim, in the Claymore config file from Nanopool zip, we're going to open that up and we're going to extract it. And we're going to browse to our Claymore's folder. We're going to go OK and then extract. Uh, just replace if you have to replace any files. OK. Alright, so now that we've done that, this Claymore's folder should be ready to go. If we right click on this and go to edit, because that batch file is the bat file that we want to use uh, to run uh, the Claymore miner. And we want to check out our details here in this line. So you can see here we want to use the ETH miner 64.exe it's in the ePool, it's in USA West and then we've got our um, wallet address there so just make sure if we go back to our uh, Exodus wallet we've got, X, we've got the O we've got 0, X and uh, 6C at the end so just make sure that's right 0, X, 6C, yep that's ok that's our rig name, Kraken email address and then some other details there so we know that's probably going to work so to run the miner now if we've got uh, um, AMD or Nvidia we can just hit start bat and that will start the miner and you're good to go it's not going to run on this desktop because I don't have uh, any uh, AMD cards it's just a MacBook that I'm recording this video on uh, but you get the idea so that's essentially how to set up uh, Claymore's dual miner um, and how to get started uh, with, with mining pools. Alright guys, so if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.